Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane. And in a previous video, I just showed you how to do pattern letters. But I just want you to be more creative. You can make pattern shapes and images. Go to Insert Image. And I'm going to do a bunny just because Easter's coming up. You could do anything you want. You could do a birthday cake. You could, any shape that has a shadow. Let me make that clear. I'm going to use this bunny because it has a shadow. Could use this one with a shadow. Some of the images do have shadows, but they're hidden. But I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. So now I'm going to go up to the filter and choose a background. Because I want it to have a decoration in it. And nothing, no results are found because I still have bunny here. So I'm just going to click the X. Okay, so now I'm going to pick out something that I want my bunny to be. I could do zebra. Ooh, I really like this one also. Let me put it bigger so you can see these two. That one's cool. I really like that one, but I think that'd look weird in a bunny. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. There are many other ones I could choose from. I like that one. So they both come in. I'm just going to make these a little bigger just so you can see it better. And this has to be bigger than my bunny. A little bigger. Okay. First, I have to select my bunny. Both layers are selected and I'm going to slice. And they turn black. That doesn't matter. I'm going to move this outline. I'm just going to move it down here. Get out of the way. And I'm going to move this bunny around. Look at the image. Actually, I'm going to send it to the back. Send to back. Just so I can see it better. And see what I want on the bunny. Okay. Maybe about like that. And I'm going to select both the bunny. I'm going to hit my command key. Or on a PC, you can hit the shift or control key. To select them both or you can hold down your left mouse button and go over both of them and see they're both selected and then click slice so now you have two options you could use this bunny or this bunny I'm going to go ahead and delete this one, although that looks kind of neat with the bunny out of the center. Let's delete that. Now, with your two options, it depends on maybe what you're using. If you're using vinyl, this bunny, this one right here, could be your option. If you're using paper, this one won't work as well. You're going to have to place all these pieces on there unless you have adhesive already on your paper. That's going to be a little more difficult. So if you're using paper, I'd suggest to use this. You could use this with vinyl or paper. And we're going to bring this up to put around that. Now we're going to select both of these and make sure they're both selected and click weld. There. Now we got our bunny and you're welcome to change the color to anything you want. Although now looking at this in the pink, I can see it better. It's not, I didn't properly do this. These black lines are cut lines. I don't want them like that. So I'm going to undo until they're not welded anymore. I need to move it. I need to change the color so I can see it better. Let's try it again. And weld. There. 
Then we have a cute little bunny. And we could, if you wanted to print this and color it in, that would be really pretty. I'd probably do it in black, I think. Print it in black and then color these in in bright colors. That would be cool. You could flatten it and that will change it to print. And then you could print and color it in with uh, markers or watercolors or anything like that. Or you could, you have to unflatten it, you could change it to write. And it would write and you could also color it in. That would be fun too. They have a little Easter coloring book. There's so many things you can do. Or you can have a cutout. And paper or vinyl or fabric. Thanks for watching, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.